Hi, welcome to Bella's Vistas. Please like and subscribe. Today, we're headed to Lush's Bite. We're waiting for the ferry to take us over to Long Island. The ferry guys are just great. We're getting the front row center seat here, so we'll be the first ones off the ferry when we land on the island. We're just blasting down the road on Long Island. We're headed for Lush's Bight, which was an old fishing community there. It's still active. I'm telling you, when I got on this island, it's just like a trip back to the past to me to 1973 when I first went to Newfoundland. St. John's and around St. John's, Petty Harbor, a lot of the outports look just like this to me. And it's, honest to gosh, it's like taking me back to my college days, back to 1973, the first time I went to Newfoundland. It was very exciting for me, let me tell you. We found this place, Lush's Bite, and there's a cooperative tea house there, which was just incredible. Unfortunately, it was closed when we were there this time. We had a nice peaceful visit and we got to watch the sunset over the harbor. On the island or isthmus in the middle of this bay was a fishing community. All the fishing sheds and houses were built up along there. That's been changed now and the island is pretty much uninhabited in the middle but the fishing sheds and boats are all around. Here we're leaving. We're going down to catch the ferry again. We're gonna be going back to the big island of Newfoundland. Not Long Island, but we're going back to Newfoundland. We're gonna to go to Twillingay. And here along the way, I find this most beautiful fox. What a nice fox. I was so lucky to find that one. We went to our usual hangout in Twillingate. It's a nice big parking lot where you can park your van and camp out there, it's free. There's a lot of interesting artifacts here where we parked up. These are things that were used for shipping or navigation or manufacturing, I really don't know, but what a beautiful seascape. I watched the sunset here, it was fantastic. I can't get over how beautiful it is. These rocks against the sea and the sky, it's just beautiful. It's stark and it's muted colors, but somehow it's incredibly captivating to me. I really enjoyed my visit there. Now we're going back into town. We're headed for the library. It's amazing when I'm on the road, the library is one of my favorite places. Not to take out books, but to uh, scoop up some free Wi-Fi so I can upload my videos, I can check my YouTube accounts and uh, read my email, things like that. Now we're going along a causeway. It's just pretty amazing. Look at the poles, they're putting up all new poles along the causeway. So what you got is a rock bed with the road over top of it going across part of the ocean, joining these small islands together. And that's how you travel back and forth instead of having to have ferries all the time. Instead of having ferries, you travel on these causeways whenever possible. Now I'm just pulling up over Trinity and Trinity is looking beautiful. Wow, Trinity Bight, amazing lupins in the foreground. I got some wonderful photographs here. Look at that village. I always think this is the kind of village that you see set up under a Christmas tree or something like that. It's just so idyllic and storybook-like. I, I love coming here. There's a wonderful chocolate shop there, coffee shop, it's great fun. Look at the lupins blowing in the foreground. Well, I've lined up my shot pretty much. Now I'm just going to adjust the polarizer on the front of the lens to see when I can get the maximum effect. Notice how it changes the brightness on the water. There you go. That's about as good as I can get. Now I'm ready to make my exposures. What a beautiful place. Look at that. Look at the colors of the houses. My goodness. Well, where I am doing this audio right now, the wind is just rocking the van back and forth, something crazy, you wouldn't believe it. 
Here I'm getting my exposure ready, ready to take it. Yeah, okay, I've got my exposure pretty well down pat, focused in, and ready to shoot. Wow, I think that looks great. Well, time to move on. Wow, that's what I'm talking about. That's what brings me back here time and time again. Now we're at Elliston. Elliston is the root center capital of uh, the world, I guess. These are the, they invented root cellars, maybe, I don't know, but there's lots of them here. Bella's sitting out in front of one here, and she was munching on some of the blades of grass and whatnot. She's pretty impressed. She couldn't come out to see the birds this time because they don't let drones or dogs out there. The puffins, wow. The little puffin kabuki theater was in full swing, let me tell you. As soon as I got there, the guy said, wow, you brought good luck, because as soon as I got there, the puffins started coming in and landing. And they put on quite a show for us. It's amazing. Every time I get there, the it's different. I mean, the puffins are always doing something different. They were running back and forth along the shore this time, like they were trying to decide whether to jump into the ocean or not. And uh, they'd have two or three of them having a little conference together. This guy's just checking out his wings. It's amazing. They're kind of uh, clumsy flyers, but they can swim underwater. They actually fly underwater better than uh, they fly in the air and they're just amazing little birds. Really beautiful, they're kind of like parrots or something. They didn't make much noise at all. And it's fun to watch them though. There are two of them here. And then they'd get three or four in a row and just run, run along the edge of the cliff. Just unbelievable. And they seem to be quite impressed watching everybody take their pictures. There were people here from all around the world and there was as much expensive glass as I've seen anywhere pointed at these puffins. I'm telling you, it's great fun. I really enjoy it. The time I was there, three, four hours, and the time just flew by. While I was out there photographing the puffins, Mary was walking Bella and getting some uh, footage of Bella in front of the root cellars and whatnot. Here's a little Newfoundland pony playing around, just having fun. Here's a poster of what it was like back in the day there. Pony's just on the leash there. He's 30 some years old. Here I am getting water from a well. Now when I heard about this well, I was thinking oaken bucket, and it would have been nice if there was an oaken bucket, but there was a galvanized pail with a weight on one side of it, a big copper weight. So I just drop it down in there and the weight makes it sink down and you pull the bucket up and uh, fill up your water jugs. It's better than paying for water. When you're paying $1.39, $1.45 a liter for gas, getting a bit of free water helps a bit. The people here were fantastic. The lady that told us about the well, wonderful. She wanted to know if we would come to her house and do our laundry there. And, uh, we didn't take her up on that generous offer, but we didn't really need our laundry doing just yet. Thanks for visiting Bella's Vistas. Please like and subscribe. Click the little notification bell so you'll be notified of our videos in the future. Thanks very much.